This video is going to give one example of how to work with some of the data available from the U.S. Census Bureau. The Census Bureau has an amazing amount of data available online, which is really wonderful. But to be honest, it can be really confusing and difficult to work with. So I encourage you, if you're interested in census data, to play around with the site, to just try different searches, look at the tools that they have because it can be difficult to get familiar with it. And the more you play around with it, the more comfortable you'll get. Before we get into the advanced search that we're going to do, I do just want to point out the website is data.census.gov. If you are interested in New York City, they do have down at the bottom these data profiles for the two biggest metro areas in the country, the Los Angeles County and the New York City profile. So if you click on New York City profile, they have a lot of really useful statistics from the census data there ready to go that you can look through and extract without having to do any particular searches. I'm going to go back to the home page and we're going to start exploring data. This example comes out of a student question that I got several years ago about looking at particular immigrant communities in New York City and where they live within the city. So the example that we're going to do is how to find place of birth, where, what countries people were born in, in New York City and comparing across the five different boroughs of New York City. Where I'm going to start is with topics and then populations and people. And again, it is not obvious where to find these things, so you just have to search or play around with them. I'm going to go to native and foreign born and then place of birth. And you'll notice that it pops up at the bottom of the screen that that's been added to my search. And now I wanna look at place of birth for people in New York City. When you are wanna look at the different boroughs of New York City and compare across the five boroughs, each borough is its own county. So I'm gonna select county and then scroll down to New York. And I'm going to go through and select uh, the five counties of New York City. So the five counties of New York City are Bronx. Bronx is the Bronx. Brooklyn is Kings County. Manhattan is New York County. Queens is Queens County. And Staten Island is Richmond County. Very confusing. Don't know why that is, but that's the way it is. So now I see at the bottom I've got I want to see place of birth for these counties. So I'm going to go ahead and hit search. And it gives me a list of tables. Again, can be kind of confusing. What table do I want? In this case, I can see that my first ones are broken out by region of birth, general broad regions of the world. But I want to see all of the different regions. So actually where I'm going to scroll down to is this table marked place of birth for the foreign born population in the United States. And now I get my table. And the first thing you would probably notice is, wait, why isn't there anything for the Bronx? Because up here at the top, the ACS is the American Community Survey, which is done, I believe, every three years, unlike the full census, which is only done every 10 years. So if I change this to the five-year estimates, then it gives me more data, and I do see data for all of my different counties. So I can scroll across and see each of the different counties along the top. And then in my rows over here, I see all of the different places um, that the, the, well, I guess the, not the census, but the American Community Survey identifies as separate places of birth. So I can look at a broad region such as Europe, or I can go through and look for a specific country. So for example, this one, the student question that this came from, uh, the student was interested in folks from Ghana. Um, so if I scroll down to the section on Western Africa, and I can see here, here is the line for Ghana. So I can look across the different counties and compare. So I can see, okay, if I wanna know where is the bulk of the Ghanaian population in New York City, it's in the Bronx. Now, if I want some more options of how I can work with this data, I can click Customize Table. When I click on Download, it's going to give me the options to download a lot more data than what, I'm, what I was just looking at. So I actually want to unselect everything except the data that I was just looking at, which is just the 2019. 
American Community Survey five-year estimates, and then I can download it as a, a CSV file, which can be opened in Excel, or I can export it to Excel directly. So that is just a very brief example of how to find some specific census data. But again, I encourage you to explore the data.census.gov website. It's, it is really interesting, um, the incredible amount of information that they have available on the U.S. population. And as always, reach out to the library if you need any help.